Welcome back to Final Fantasy V Forge of Fiesta, everyone. Now, but this time, I actually did a bit of um, uh, fiddling around. As you can see, like, down below here, um, uh, the little Legato avatar I've got um, uh, actually swaps between the job classes I've got. Pretty cool. Oh, for goodness sake, it's doing this again. Oh, wait, hang on. Yep, it's doing that thing again. I need to, I need to redo the controls. Down, left, right, A, B, L, R, select, start, Come on. capture, and done. Bloody pain. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, crap, the sound again. Of course. I keep forgetting I mute the bloody thing whenever I do grinding sessions. Okay, so between sessions I did a bit of grinding. Now, I'm uh, just explaining a couple things real quick. I went ahead and I got the chicken knife from Moore. Because uh, someone said that I'm a, if I were to use the chicken knife... Um, in the second slot with the Berserker, the secondary effect of running away from battles wouldn't apply. Problem is, it does. I'm afraid the information was wrong, and I'm very sorry for it. So, I kept the Gaia Hammer for seeking, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm, uh, I'm gonna use the Gaia Hammer for regular battles, but when I get into a boss fight, I'll use the Chicken Knife. So, something else I should point out, I'm, uh, we don't need to do any of the other locations in order to get the tablets because I've got I've got everything I need. I don't need to do Phoenix Tower or anything else like that because I'm a, a between sessions. I did actually go to Phoenix Tower and grabbed some reflect rings, so now everyone has reflect rings. So magic is a complete non-issue for the most part. However, after a long think about it, I decided that I am gonna do everything else in the game before we go to the final boss, and I have two reasons for that. Uh, the first reason is that I'm, uh, I don't think I'm at an adequate enough level in order to, um, uh, defeat the final boss efficiently, especially, especially with two berserkers. So, I'm gonna be, um, uh, going to new locations to grab the, to grab the remaining tablets and everything, just for the sake of, um, uh, getting more experience. In addition, I'm also going to be, um, well, um, in addition, I kind of want to see... How far I can take this? It's like, I, I kind of just want the challenge. Listen, there's Ice Tree Falls there. One of the locations for the tablets. There should be a cave. Oh, I know. There's the cave in order to get to the falls, which means there must be one nearby somewhere. No, I can't land here. Where was that cave system again? Oh wait, should I also... Yeah, you know what? Uh, where's Boko? So now Boko should be... Right where I am. Oh, there he is. Oh, hang on a minute. Now, I'm just going to apologize in advance for this, but I'm going to have to have a fan running. Just because it's way too hot. Now, with a bit of luck, you won't be able to hear it, because I've got it as far away from me as I can. So, if you do hear the fan, I apologize, but I need it on, otherwise I'm just going to be too hot to even bother streaming. It's like... And we're being hit with, with a heat wave, so... Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna take a minute for me to get back to the swing of things, so I've, I've been kind of out of a loop for a bit. I think I need to go this way, or is it... Or do I need to go the long way around? Hmm.
I think I can go this way. Uh, no, actually, I need to go the long way around. Damn it. Oh, yeah, I should probably grab the magic lamp. Um, uh, from uh, from the top of the falls before I go into the falls. Uh, just because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm as I say this, I'm, uh, if you use Odin, um, uh, via the lamp against the final boss, you can actually destroy one of the portions automatically. So, I'm going to be using that for emergencies. And by that, I mean I'm going to use it right away because I, I like doing that stuff. <laughs> falls from here. It involves that cave system. Which means there should be... Oh wait, no, I think it's underwater, actually. Yeah, I think I need to get in from there. Hmm. I don't know why I'm forgetting these stuff so... Uh, uh, sorry, I don't know why I'm forgetting this so easily. I... It wasn't that long ago when I last streamed this game. But also, um, uh, I decided to stream like an hour earlier, um, uh, just so I can stream for four hours. Because one thing I'd like to do is, I'd like to see if I can try and get everything done, and then get up, and then finish um, at the final dungeon, but not the final boss. Because I don't trust myself to um, uh, beat the final boss in this stream, because... Sadly, it's a bit of a running gag for me on how every stream so far, I would get right to the end of the final boss and I'd just lose constantly and I need to stop the stream, wait for a week to, um, uh, um, to grind and then beat the boss in like an hour, and an hour or 30 minutes. Wait. Oh, is it the oh no buttons? Oh no, that's right. I don't have the sub feature yet. All right, so actually, falls is out of the question. Uh, jeez, I'm an idiot. Okay, well in that case, let's do um, uh, the island shrine. So remember, it says me the island shrine opens up Fort Tower. I conquer Fort Tower, then I can get the sub. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's do pro. Uh, I don't. I don't want you to have the chicken knife. But you can have the chicken knife because we can't run from boss fights. And let's go for cover. Oh no, you don't. I suppose it doesn't matter that um, the gargoyles don't don't fire magic. Uh, but still. I'm going to use the um, uh, magic lamp for this fire as well. Sorry. Alright. I also did a bit of money grinding and grabbed a bunch of Fuma shurikens. Uh, which one is the best one? Is it lightning scroll?
Alright, let's use the magic lamp. So it should be Bahama first. And this is where we should kill that thing before it... Oh, nice one, Bart's. Alright, back to Berserk. Yeah, I'm mostly using Berserk just for the sake of random battles if you're new to this. Then again, I think I've mentioned this during every during every stream I've done so far. And if you've been watching them in order, then yeah, you know already. Uh, equipment. Hmm. Actually, I've, I've just been thinking. If I keep the chicken knife on, that means I I escape random battles quicker. Now, that actually has a bit of a positive to it, because it means I'm wasting less time, but on the other hand... Hmm. Uh, I'll go for the guy hand for now. Alright, let's begin. There's a few treasure chests around here that that take optional paths, but honestly, for the life of me, I I always seem to forget I'm at the right switch to press for this one. And that was the correct one. All right. Oh crap! And I'm and I'm berserked. Well, time to speed up. Rising Sun. That's a ninja weapon, if memory serves me. You can use the chicken. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, I want to check out the other places first. Not bad. Saves me from buying some. Ah, this one can take a lot of punishment. All that for 7 ABP as well. I'm only going to be using elixirs during battle, otherwise I'm just going to spam in high potions for healing. Alright, so what, what else have we missed? Alright, so what are you? 9,000 gil, always nice. I do also want to, like, grab some more money so I could buy as many elixirs and Fuma shurikens as I can. The dots are I'm going to be using. Alternatively, I can have the knights just have dual wields. But, honestly, I think the Fuma shurikens would be better. Hmm. Uh, no, 
I don't really need to use it too much, it's just a couple high potions instead. Okay, second floor. I, I think this place has but has um, uh, trap holes in it. But I think I should be alright for the most part. Oh nice, the Assassin's Dagger uh, kicked in. Ether, Cell. Probably gonna sell that. Oh, wait, now I remember. Uh, where is it? a hidden passage. Go! Crystal Helm? Uh, let's take a look. Okay, I don't actually need it. Actually, um, just thought of something. If Ferris has the Rising Sun, which does better in the back row, maybe I should shift it to the back. She also has the least amount of HP, so it's probably for the best. Masters and freelancers can use it. And honestly, if I ever do another four drop fiesta, um, well, I I am gonna be doing one. But I'm uh, I don't know. Beastmaster is one of those things where I, oh crap. Beastmaster is one of those jobs I hope I never get. Same with chemist. I used them before, and I'm uh in my previous runs just for fun, and I didn't enjoy them in the slightest. Well, here's the thing. If I get a chemist, um, uh, I'm gonna have a cheat sheet of all the um, uh, mixtures I can do, because frankly, I'd rather not like waste time experimenting. Oh, wait. Just remembered. Yep, that's what I thought. Uh, Dragon Fang. Those are chemist things, but. 
They're honestly just better being sold. Okay, this is different. Oh wait, no, I'm uh, hang on. Okay, this is just where it leads. Ah, oh, come on. Ha. I love reflecting spells like this. Now I bet he gets a cottage. Damn condensation. The the um, uh, because it's so hot. Hang on, encoding overload. What? What happened there? This game never. And this game barely has anything like that. Oh shit, I just realised what this boss is. Well, let's roll out dice. This is the Wendigo fight, and I'm, uh. Uh, see for yourself. Oh, sorry. I think I actually got the right one. Also, that kind of helps. Yeah, um, uh, it constantly switches between um, uh, uh, bodies. So, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's for the best I just leave this, leave this to the Berserkers, because they'll be a bit more... I don't know. It, it, it's going to be just as... I'm um, uh, effective as actually playing with them. Ah, I'm gonna speed this up now. That never ends. <laughs> oh, boss up, we're not doing half bad. Oh, nice, we won. I guess to be fair, the reflect rings bounce back all of his more dangerous abilities, so. Alright, so Fork Tower is probably going to be the most difficult part. But this is something that is actually doable. And I wish I had teleport. I also forgot to equip the chicken knife during that, but oh well. Kotetsu, I think that's a samurai weapon.
I'll heal properly once we actually leave the dungeon. I don't know how to get to that treasure chest, and to be honest, I don't think it's necessary. Oh, come on, really? Right, right in front of the door? Okay, so next stop is Fork Tower. There it is. But first I'm going to heal and then buy some more high potions. Dun -dun -dun -dun. <laughs> All right. And you don't have any high potions. All right, whatever. To be fair, Fork Tower is not, not that long. I think I can handle this. Although, also, Phantom Village isn't far from here anyway, so... Uh, sh I, I should be alright. Now... Which side was which again? That's my biggest concern, because one side... One side is nothing but magic, the other side is nothing but physical attack. Bort and Lena are my berserkers, so I think it's... I think this is the physical attack side. And the left is the magic attack side. So something I want to do real quick. Actually, I think I should be fine since I've got the reflect rings on. Because keep in mind, these enemies are counter with magic if you hit them with physical attacks. But because I've got reflect rings... thought they would counter with magic. Oops. Well, at least I know I picked the right paths that time. Well, I'm going to take Berserk off for Ferris and Krill and just um, uh, run from every fight. some of you, this might be a bit of a concern for me because Fork Tower requires both physical and magical abilities. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. And, um, uh, I don't have any magic at all. However, I don't think that's going to be that much of a factor. Because I'm using, um, uh, because I have Reflect Rings on. Let's see. 
Okay, let's try this again. So my idea is that I'm just gonna run from every fight because they're they're gonna constantly cast magic. I can bounce it back. So I'm, uh, I should be all right. And I'm not gonna run into a single fight, am, uh, am I? There we go, jeez. Oh, right. Reflect rings don't bounce back time magic. Come on, hurry up. Thank you. Wonder Wands. I believe that's a very good magic based weapon. Randomly cast spells. Okay. Okay, so good to know. I, Yeah, mind you, that, that was the same problem I had with Otomos during, during one of my last streams. Also, I don't like speeding this up just because I, like I like to see our spells bounce back. Okay, now this one is going to be a bit easier because this one requires a... Um, uh, Nothing but physical attacks, no magic attacks. So, Berserkers being nothing but physical attacks. Actually... Just in case. So if you run from a battle, that's good. Fog Tower is a concept I really like. In fact, a, there's a lot of things about this game that I that I genuinely like. When it when it comes to like its dungeons and exploration. All right, I'm gonna set up a save state. Just in case things go south. Oh, sorry for you, on it. I'm not even that tired, but I, I didn't go out today. It's too damn hot. There's a puddle here, <laughs> not far from me. It's because my water bottle has so much condensation around it, it's ridiculous. Ooh, I probably should have put the protect rings on actually, so they say so regen. But let's just see how this goes. Hello, do you want to actually fight? Thank you, jeez. Alright, that's that fight already done. <laughs> Okay, so holy can be reflected. Okay, now this one I'm gonna. This one is probably gonna take ages, but I'm also um. Uh... Sorry, and this one's gonna take ages, and I'll show you why. If we attack him, he does return. It's so, like the battle just ends. So sorry, I'm um, the battle starts again. So, actually, there is something I want to test. Can I use these since they're elemental based? Nope. So, we're literally just waiting. Yeah, we are basically just waiting for him to kill himself with his own spells.
This is probably not going to work as well as I had hoped. Well, this is poison now, a bio, I think. I know, this is really stupid. Just something I want to check. Is there any items I can use to mitigate this? I can't use the magic lamp because that actually counts towards return. Actually, how's our health? Oh, Crow's actually quite low. Yeah, because Drain isn't affected by counter. Alright, I'm gonna have to keep this fight slow so I can manage my health. Actually, I should be fine if I just pay attention. Just keep an eye on the numbers. Alright, I'm gonna speed up again. Wait, is HP's full? So, in other words, this isn't actually working. run from this fight either because we're too, um, because I'm a this is a boss fight he can't hurt us and he's healing faster than we can all right let me try something yeah that's our thoughts okay is there any way to actually that might not be a bad idea like if he uses regen, like, um, get him to cast return so he gets rid of it. Oh, he's got auto regen anyway. Hmm. Problem is, if I don't do Fork Tower, I can't do Ice Tree Falls. And if I can't, and if I don't have. If science hits immediately throw? Uh, yeah, alright. Good, good idea. I'm going to need to keep the fight slow so I can keep an eye on it. Maybe we'll be lucky and he'll use self-destruct for some reason. Yeah, I was also just thinking to myself, because if I can't defeat this, then that means I can't get the other tablets. Which means I might as, well, might as well just do the final boss immediately. Let's cast and reflect. Slow yourself down. Gravity. Fyra. Mandara. Left. Oh, hey, thanks for casting regen on Krill. Nice. Okay, throw, 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 throw. It didn't work. Oh, no, man, it did. All right, keep this up. Ah, damn it. 
Do I at least get my full shurikens back? Yeah, it looks like it. There goes regen. Yeah, anytime he's going to cast regen, I'm just going to, like, attack him to knock it out of him. One round of throw. Okay, got it. I wouldn't be lucky enough that he would poison himself, would he? Fuse, Bizarro. Okay, uh, a drain happens, so I'm just gonna heal that off real quick. This is probably one of the stupidest fights I've, I've ever done in this game so far. Plus, I'm also not lucky enough for like the assassin's dagger to just pull an insta kill, am I? Cast a regen, this is annoying. Okay. Okay, so just one round, so Ferris and Crow throw one each. Thanks for your help, by the way, on my courtly Hades. Alright. Gravity. This is not casting regen on himself anymore. Still lost a lot of health, thankfully. just attack him just to get rid of that regen because that's just going to make things more annoying. On the plus side, now we have regen, so... And sounds... Alright, you know, I I'm just going to keep going. Wait, did he stop himself? No, he didn't. Back to full health. Okay, so the main problem I'm having here is that silence does work on him, but the pro the biggest problem is is the fact that I'm uh um it, it's all luck based on whether or not he'll actually use it. And whether or not it's actually gonna work on him. Not to mention he's got Regen and Cura. Oh, 
Let's use the magic lamp, actually. Five minutes and seven. Yeah, that wasn't worth it at all. Yeah, only one round of um, uh, Thunder Shurikens. Someone that can inflict silence right off the bat, that'd be very helpful. Like, uh, I don't know, like a Mage Master or something. Faster now. Yeah, this isn't worth it. I'm going to have to reset. Take a look at all my stuff real quick. Chicken knife, uh, magic lamp, two knives. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the Phantom Village real quick just to go to the shop. I kind of want to grab a few things as well. Magic shop. Oh wait, I think the shop's in the pub. Oh wait, no, it's in the end. Sorry. Duh. She just took quite a complete waste of time, unfortunately. Okay, let's sell things we don't need. Well, first, let me just sort the items so they're easier to find. Let's see. Sell the dragon fan. Uh, don't need the twin lance anymore. East killer's gone. Kotetsu's gone. Keep the coral rings. Don't really need the other mantis anymore, really, but I'd rather keep a hold of them just in case. I uh, don't really need these shields anymore, either. Alright, where are the ethers? And, uh, gone. My draws been in case holy wall. Uh, I kind of need most of these. Alright. I'm going to take a look at the weapon shop real quick to see if there's anything that will be of value. Uh, those are some, some silences enemies. Ah, damn it. 
I don't have anyone that can equip a bow. What about the armor shop? How many sandals to increase speed? That's not bad. I don't think anyone can equip that, can they? No, that's what I thought. Because I just had an idea. And... Probably not going to work, but I might as well give it a try. Let's take another swing at this. Actually, hmm. Just gonna head over to Castle Kuza first to deposit that to, to deposit that tablet. So where is it? This Phoenix Tower. I always look. I always get lost in this map. That's why I liked um, uh, the Steam version a bit more because the map actually told you where where things were. Here we go. All right, where's that on the map? Uh, somewhere in the middle. Okay. I just want to see if there's any other legendary weapons um, I can wield. So now there's the bow, the whip, the rods, the staff, harp, bell. So let's get I might as well just grab these anyway, since I'm not allowed to leave until I grab until I take free. Because I'm a. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm uh. I'm thinking I should give the dancing dagger and the chicken knife to Ferris. And just pray for a sword stance every time. Um uh. Um, every time that wizard uses silence on himself. So. Let's just. Check something real quick. Just the chicken knife. Although, first can also wield Sasuke's katana. Which, that is a significant boost in power. So just what I'm thinking. If I equip the dancing dagger on her and, and try to rely on, on a sword dance, I should be able to clock about 1400 points of damage. No, 14,000 points of damage, sorry. And looking at Lena's abilities. Wait, can. Oh, I haven't masked. I don't think I've masked any of, any of our other jobs, have I? Because she can't wield swords. Alright, well. 
Let's head back to Fault Tower real quick. I, I don't have to do this. I can just go to the final boss straight away. In fact, that's apparently what I'm going to be doing now. Okay, um, uh... Here's the thing. I don't trust myself being able to do this comfortably. Because I've... Because I'm, I'm at level 40. And I'm a, that's a low level for me for the final area. I need to be at least 50. And even then, I might have to be a little higher just for the Berserker's sakes. Okay. Let's put a throw. Let's just go for first strike. Because cover really only works for um, uh, physical attacks. It's probably not going to work nearly as well as I'd hoped, but this is... Honestly, this is probably the best I can do. So my idea is, um, uh, when I get to the um, uh, fight against the wizard, um, should he silence himself, I'll, I'll go for a sword dance, or at least try to. Um, uh, yeah, pr pretty much. I'm gonna be tr trying to see if I can rely on a sword stance because I can do at least fourteen thousand points damage, fourteen to fifteen thousand, and I can use some um, uh, krill to use some um, uh, fuma shurikens. I'm not gonna rely on the assassin's dagger to deal extra damage because I don't think it's gonna work. Alright, let's try this again. Good starts. See how this is going to go. This isn't going to go well, is it? Screw it. Plus, I forgot reflect rings don't stop comets. Which is annoying. I've never seen many work on enemies before.
Now this is the point where I really wish I had magic. Alright, well, it shouldn't be too hard for these guys. I'm gonna equip one of them with the protect ring instead of the reflect ring because none of them have magic here. Potion. So yeah. <laughs> Actually, let me take a look at that defender real quick. Neither of them can equip it. And I can't switch to the other team, so. Alright, well, anyway, save state. See you, asshole. Alright. With a bit of luck, this will go a little better. I was too late. Uh, how do I switch between characters if I'm able to? Uh, it doesn't, doesn't look like I can. Poison, float, gravity. Damn it, come on. This is so stupid now, but I I should have seen this coming. Gravity confused Fandara. Slow. Still, option B, I, I uh, keep this up until he runs out of magic, because he will eventually run out of MP. But even then, I don't think that's going to stop the regen. Oh, come on, silence! Work this time!
Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. There we go. Okay. Okay, not as enough as a Puma Shuriken. Try again. There we go. Okay. Come on, sword dance. Fucking killing me here, Ferris. This is getting this is getting really annoying now. He's almost at full health again. This is so dumb. I think I decided to stream an hour earlier just so I could do this. <sighs> Alright, you know what? I'm going to see if I can go for a sword dance. Actually, here's the thing. I think a sword dance would actually be enough to insta-kill him. So, let's just roll that dice and see what happens. If Ferris would actually decide to actually do a fucking sword dance for once. She's always the worst when it comes to, like, dancing. 
every time I've had a dancer in, in these runs, and it's Ferris, she's the worst when it comes to sword dance. The absolute worst. There we go. No, that wasn't even close to being enough. I am going to have to wait until he silences himself. Oh, nice. Right off the bat. And you didn't do a sword dance when I absolutely needed you to. Gonna need to wait for another round. There we go. Come on, sword dance. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, also, it's the wrong character, so. Wait, what? Why didn't Ferris attack twice? Or did I just miss it? I must have missed it. I think I'm only going to give this a few more tries before I just go straight to Exodus Castle. Come on! And he's back to full health. Stupid now. There we go. 
Sword Dance, nice, right off the bat. And I feel my shuriken. Okay. All we need to do now is just wait for him to do another silence. Faraga. Alright, because he's so low on health now. I promise that that regen is... Actually, the regen isn't doing nearly as much as compared to this, so... We might have this. We might actually have this now. Because he's just casting the tier 3 spells. He's dealing more damage to himself than he can heal. Flare. We won. That was not worth it. Not in the slightest. Well, that sucks, but... We can now go to the other places of the tablets. First, let's go and get Sid. Oh, that, that was just awful. I never want to do that again. So just in case something stupid happens... All oh, right, Lena's dead. All right, we'll, uh, we'll fix dropping the boats. I should have did the speed up button for that, just to just to have seen what, what that would have been like. I suppose an alternative to the fight is I could have just waited for him to have um uh, ran out of MP and then just like non-stop attacked him. Because, like, he can't cast Return if he's out of MP. At the same time, I don't know how... Actually, I think Return only costs 1 MP, so he would literally have to press... He would literally have to have 0 MP, which I don't think he can have. Hmm. Unless I, like, d did something that would, like, drain, it, drain the very last of his MP. Even then, I have nothing to drain magic with. Admittedly, I do like this song. So anyway, now that I've got... Um, uh, how's my money count, by the way? Not bad, I mean, didn't heal. That whole thing with the wizard was a pretty awful experience. So I'm, uh... 
Never want to do that again. To be fair, I didn't think about the regen thing. I, I thought like, oh, reflect his magic. The, the boss will be a breeze, but nope. Okay. I'm going to go and stretch my legs a little bit because I'm actually starting to get a bit of a cramp. Uh, anyway, I'm, uh, and when we get back, we'll um, uh, take care of Ice Tree Falls and then the uh, underground place filled of... Oh, crap, lava. Okay, I'll um, uh, see you in a minute. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. All right. All right, so next stop is Ice Tree Falls. Should be around here. Here is somewhere else, but it is underwater. Whoops. I think this is it over here. It's funny, I'm not on streams this game again. I'm doing casual. You'd think I'd remember this stuff. Oh yeah, I should probably put the Berserks back on, and um, uh, and uh, resort the equipment. 
That helped. That actually did help quite a bit. Alright. Okay, so... Where's the assassins? Oh, here it is. Okay, Sasuke's katana and rising sun. Dancing dagger, a chicken knife. Assassin's dagger. Okay, so that's all the equipment, correct? Actually, something, something I kind of want to see. Uh, bolts abilities. It doesn't have anything involving swords. Not that it matters, anyway, because I'd rather he had dual wield anyway. Alright, finally, the first level of this session. Actually, you know what? I'll just use um, uh, a, a tent. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There really is not much point in me doing this besides I'm at the experience. But I kind of want to do this anyway. Oh, right, yeah. Uh... You know, let's leave this up to chance. Because throwing the um, uh, scrolls doesn't really do anything. And it's a good thing I left it up to chance, because that took only like two turns. Just because I, I got stupid lucky with the Assassin Dagger's secondary effect. Okay. Fortunately, once again, I don't remember the layout. Total Shell, I think that's a chemist thing. So, all right, this was a bad spot. Uh, this way. I think that's nowhere near as good. Okay, I can at least come back if I um, uh, go too far. I'm, I'm if I don't like where I'm going. Rune blades. So the uses MP for critical hits can be used two-handed. How do I? Oh, here we go. Knight, Blue Mage, Mystic Knight, and Time Mage, and Red Mage. Okay, so not that useful. Actually, no, I've got a knight. Runeblade's nowhere near that strong. However, if she would have dual wields, then that would be helpful. I'll need to look into that a bit more. It'd be the only way I, I, I'd get some bloody use out of the um, uh, MP gauges.
Oh boy. Can they kill it in time? Nope. And the chicken knife escape made us escape. Get to that if I run quick enough. I don't want to keep running from fights, and I think I want to rely on um. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, it's just. Uh... Uh, what am I trying to say? I, I want to stop running from fights, and honestly, I think I'd rather rely on Gaia Hammer's chance of earthquakes. I should probably heal Lena. Heal? Now I'm good. I can just uh, save. Oh crap, one of these again. Full of shuriken, nice. That'll make up for losing half my health. I should probably heal. This guy's inflict old. What a bizarre power. Titan's axe. Ooh, that's a significant amount, amount of damage. Um, 109, 129. Here's the thing, Leonard's mostly going to be having the chicken knife during big fights, so I think it's probably for the best I give it to Bort. what that one enemy looks like in battle. 
Just because he he effing bites it. I also just realized I forgot to take Berserk off of Krill and Lena, so let's do that real quick. Uh Actually, does Krill have dual wield? Yes, yeah, she does. Alright. So let's give this setup a try. Alright, next up is Ferris. No more Berserk for you. Let's go for... Cover. Alright, let's go, mate. Alright, let's start by throwing the defender. He's not going to use Tidal Wave, is he? There is a tsunami in this one, I forget. Alright, health is dropping very fast. Thanks for the heal. Oh, thanks for another heal. That's very much appreciated. Alright, let's throw this regular shuriken. Oh, nice block. Air knife. I don't want to throw away the legendary weapons. I know they're of absolutely no use to me, but I'd just rather not get rid of like plot important items like that, even if they're of no use. Do you get a bug? It's just who I am. So let's use the first Fuma Shuriken. heal. And there we go. One free reflex ring. Alright, restart everything out. Three of the four tablets obtained. So after so next up is the one underwater. I keep forgetting the name of it. It's Sunken Shrine or something? Then it'll be Phoenix Tower, the fight against Bahamut, and that should be everything. And then we can take on the final boss. Here's the thing. I'm only going to get to the end of the dungeon and then I'm going to call it quits. Because I don't trust myself in beating that on my first try. So that's why I'm going to do some excessive grinding first. Let's see, it should be somewhere around here. Oh, 
Oh, way down. Okay. Well, it's a good thing there are no random encounters in the water. I should probably heal. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> actually, I've also haven't saved in a while. Well, actually, the last the last place I saved was in Ice Tree Falls, so should be all right. That's almost it's almost easier just to <laughs> I'm just to wait it out. Well I know I don't think I'll be doing it for, for the next time because I know the next one is the three pig bosses and you have to kill all three of them at the same time. Alright, this is gonna suck. Alright, well, then it's not dead, thankfully. War scroll, not bad. Actually, just in case, I'm gonna set up a save state. Just because I forgot about the insta-kill thing with Possess. Well, I don't think any of these guys have it. Probably get rid of that assassin's dagger. Yeah, I'm gonna de equip that assassin's dagger. Uh, let's go for the. That's good, the chicken knife. If I run from a fight, I run from a fight. Safe state and using all those high potions was kind of meaningless. Help that the lava tiles do 50 damage per step. At least roughly around that. I think that was the wrong one. Actually, I don't think that was the right one either. Almost out of high potions. 
Hold that for an ether, that wasn't worth it. Oh crap. Oh well. How many elixirs do I have? Eight. Actually, wait. Okay, good. <sighs> Actually, I think there's a shop here as well with items, so I'll see if I can stock up, restock on eye potions. Lally ho! Armor. Lally ho. Lally ho. Lally ho. Really? No items? Alright, fine. So, this doesn't necessarily tell you, I believe, but this is a restoration point for the magic lamp as well. Yeah, here we go. Don't know why that doesn't tell you. Maybe it's supposed to be a secret. Oh wait, this is the fake one, isn't it? Yep. Well, gotta heal everyone. No, I'm not using the... Well, now I'm gonna have to. This is probably my least favorite place, because not only do the lava spots just make this an absolute nightmare, The lava makes it a nightmare, and I, I always forget the stupid puzzles.
What was the solution to this place again? I just did this last session as well. Sorry, I did this last stream as well. <sighs> I hate this stupid dungeon. Okay, that is definitely the magic lamp. Because that, that would have been a full heal otherwise. door opens. Oh, not door. Oh, for fuck's sake. And no healing spot before this. away most of them. Well, good to know. Alright, set up a safe state. I'm just going to do the cheap and easy way out of this. Because you need to kill all three of these at the same time. So what better way than to just keep using this until I get Odin. and this will kill all three of them instantly. And now i got to get out of here. The long way. Just 
just gonna keep the poison on because I'm heading to uh, I'm into a restore point anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, that was a wreck. <sighs> Alright. All's left is uh, Phoenix Tower and fighting Bahamut. I was wondering when, when a random encounter was going to show up. And what I wouldn't give for Geomancer, uh, just for this one bit. Just right at the door. I know it's optional, but oh, for sake, stop going in wrong directions. I know it's an optional dungeon, but I still think this bit is just bad. I mean, I get it though, at the same time, this is. Um, I don't think the devs intended you to do, like, single four-job runs. Like... Whatever. won't even let me leave. I'm not using the last of my elixirs either. I've spent... Not only do they cost way too much, I have so few as it is. I know, I know what's going to happen. The moment I actually, like, use an elixir to heal myself, I'm going to leave this place without getting into a single fight. I'm expecting it. So, like, that's why I'm not using any healing items. Because, A, well, I want to save them because I've got so few, especially the elixirs, which I'm, uh, you know... They're the only healing items I can rely on in battle. Plus, like I said, the moment I use the healing items, I'm not going to run into a single fight and escape.
I really don't like this dungeon. Okay, so next up, Phoenix Tower. This one's going to be a bit complicated, because I'm going to need the black chocobo for that. Well, the purple chocobo, but still. How much money did I even make? I want to go back to the Phantom Verge real quick. So I decided I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell a bunch of stuff and see if I can get more elixirs. The first high potions. Alright, what can I sell? Lamia's tiara, don't... Uh... Protect rings, uh, wonder wands... I guess I can sell my one and only reflect ring I'm not gonna use. Kaiser Knuckles, Turtle Shells, Just the Shields, eh, fuck it. Still need the Coral Rings, don't need the Gaia Hammer anymore. Rising Sun, I don't really think I need, but I'm gonna keep a hold of it just to be safe. Uh. Yeah, no chance. Uh, I might as well sell the scrolls so I'm not using them anymore. I'm just going to be using shurikens and fuma shurikens. Alright, how many elixirs can I buy? Four. I didn't have the Berserk thing, so I'm gonna see. Let's just do that right now. Oh, right, yeah, shield. <sighs> nope. and Saskia's Katana, and Reflect Ring. Alright. Thankfully, I don't think Phoenix Tower is going to take that long, considering I'm uh, of my powerful arsenal. This is definitely one of my favorites, although I do also really like Far Fantasy XV's Chocobo theme. It's definitely got a yeehaw sort of feel to it. I, I need to play XV. Like, I haven't really been interested in the non-classic Far Fantasy games, but just seeing Far Fantasy XV in action and, like, seeing the characters, the writing, and the setting and all that, it looks like my type of Far Fantasy game. Like, this is still going to be my favourite, no doubt. But I really want to give 15 a try, because it does look like fun, and I definitely do like the characters.
Right, forgot these things can use Earthquake. Yeah, I'm gonna use a cottage now. just when we get just outside of Phoenix Tower. When was the last time I saved? <sighs> Not gonna lie, I actually felt my heart sink because I thought, oh, when was the last time I saved? So I thought I was going to be back in that underwater cavern. Alright, this shouldn't take too long. I'm mostly here just for the experience. And this Thunderbirds theme. <laughs> well, Thunderbirds-like theme. Also, I forgot about the crap ton of money here. That could have gone a lot better. It's a good thing I stocked up on a crap ton of holy water. kill this thing fast enough? Nope. Well, in that case, screw you. I'm not giving you any of my elixirs. Maiden's Kiss, Holy Water. And High Potions. I'm beginning to think um, uh, those undead don't get experience. Also, I do have reflect rings on, don't I? Yeah, I guess that I guess the stat stuff ignores the reflect rings, annoying as that is. Oh, nice. I suppose that wouldn't be a bad idea. Grind against enemies that drop Alexis. Also, getting really annoyed with how many, with how I'm going to need to use these holy waters and a ton of high potions. Chance she'll give me another elixir? No. Alright, are you the pot? Nope. What are those things called? Magic pot. Okay. Is 
Is there a way to kill those things? I sure would like to know. I hated that flame boss so much in this run. Yeah, see you, mate. Wait, no, I think that was 150,000. So I've got way more for a bunch of um, uh, elixirs. Uh, Moon's Kiss. Dead. Okay. Two hundred thousand. Is it? You know, forget it. A lot of money, which means I should have quite a lot in order to get more um, uh, uh, elixirs and from shurikens. Might not be a bad idea for me to invest in normal shurikens as well. Also, I should probably heal boards. Okay, you kill that thing now before it kills us. Jesus Christ. stone again. Oh, here it is. Gold needles. How did I forget that? I think I used like thousands of them on those statue enemies. Oh, I already got the money.
Okay, good. Oh, she's got petrification. Three status conditions on, on Lena. Poor girl. So many vicious status elements, and it's getting annoying. Because I, I got the reflect. Oh, oh hold on. Because I kind of got the reflect rings to stop to avoid this crap. Still, at least I can. At least it blocks most offensive magic. Sure, wish it bounced back some of the status element spells as well. So I think that my gear's picking up the fan. I'm gonna push it away a little more. No, it doesn't seem to be helping. That doesn't help either, just blocking the mic. Alright. What are we at? We're at 2 hours and 24 minutes. We're looking at the actual clock. I'm, uh. Let's see. We've got about an hour and 30 minutes left, so if my prediction is correct, I'm uh, after escaping uh, Phoenix Tower, because we will need to do that, then pick a fight with, with Bahamut, and that should take about half an hour, and then we can head back and, and then infiltrate Xtef's castle. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is mentioned anywhere. I, I, it, it is somewhere, but am I not here? Um, uh, the Phoenix Tower is where Windrakes go to turn into Phoenixes when they're about to die. sucks when I'm uh, you have the chance to save someone you care for so deeply but that chance you have ends up just being <laughs> um, ends up feeling more wrong like you know I'm not saying this properly just forget it I've never been good at talking like this stuff so all right Thankfully going back won't take nearly as long. Although I don't miss this. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't start down. Ah! I 
I'm setting up a safe state. Because I'm a, if I go through all that just to die on the way back down, I won't be happy. Because I got so much money and and a decent amount of experience. Uh, I don't want it just to go to waste like that and have to do everything all over again. for all this stuff. It looks to come first, however. So I'll use all the money I have to buy as many elixirs as I can. I hate that roulette spell. That one's just mean. I'd say it's rigged, but I know it's not. Oh. Why do I keep overshooting like this? This is annoying. Yeah, just to cover, there are a few things I'm not going to be doing else. It's just going to be this and fighting Bahamut. Oh, no, 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 no. It was a really good thing I set up that save state. Hermes sandals. This is so tedious. In some cases, I was kind of glad I, I had time mage during, during last year's four job fiesta.
five. Four. You know what? Setting up another save state. I don't trust myself. Okay, it's not that I don't trust myself. I trust I don't trust this game. I also hate that I keep overshooting. Nope. <sighs> Also, you think doing Palms Chorus twice would um, uh, just turn them back? Alright. Cottage. This is just warm now. You had a crap ton of ice in it as well. That's, that's the worst part. Get up. You're better than that. Alright, back to the Phantom Village to grab the airship. And then I'll take on Bahamut. And then we'll go straight to a um, uh, Xdef's castle. Okay, the, the interdimensional rift, really. I just want to see how many, um, uh, I just want to see how many elixirs I can buy after selling some of the things I don't need. Let's see. Don't need the spare reflex ring. No, I don't really need the Hermy sandals. Keep the rising sun just in case. Okay, that's it. Uh, keep the coral rings. Oh, damn it. Free. How much are they each? Oh, it's 500,000, not 50,000. Jeez. Probably should have healed. Oh, and I should probably also restock my other items as well. The road to Bahamut isn't as bad as Bahamut itself, because it's um uh, the, the dragon's uh, the dragon's mountain, which you need the black which you need the black chocolate for. I forgot you needed the black chocolate for that.
there it is. So yeah, I shouldn't have left at all. Oh, well, I wanted to restock on items. Even if I wasn't able to restock on much. says me nothing in here has changed. Now same enemies as before so this won't be a problem at all. The only problem will be Bahamut. Even then I should be ready for that. I someone get a level up from this, that'd be a, that'd be a surprise. Nice, just the thing in one hit. Well, it dodges a lot, so I'm glad I managed to like get one kill in. Alright, just because I've lost a little bit of health and every bit is nece is beneficial. Oh, oh, so sorry, sorry. Okay, let's just a coin. So let's go for dual wheels. You're going for the rune blade and Excalibur. Don't know if reflect ring's gonna help, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. And equip swords, I guess. Actually, there's no point in that. Actually, there's no way the insta kill's gonna work, so let's go for the chicken knife. Also, Bahamut, he big. Ferris has the chicken knife, so I should probably just attack with her instead. Alright, how much damage? That's too much. Oh, nice! Did not think, ref, did not think reflectorings will work on Mega Flare. All right, no complaints.
Okay, let's resort the abilities. But yeah, now we've done everything. And we did it much quicker than I expected. Like, we did it about... Listen, I expected half an hour, but we did it about 15 minutes. Roughly. got... I didn't save, did I? I know there's nothing here threatening, but I'd rather save anyway when I've got the chance. Especially on the... should... Especially since should something stupid happen like that. Um, more or less something like I'm a, you know, the stream crashing. I don't want to have another Yoshi's Island instance. I uh, guess I should explain. Uh, early July, I did what was called a mega stream, and I was supposed to do a. Um, uh, it was pretty much just to finish off games that I've, um, uh, I've sort of neglected, like Mario Bros. Three, Hammer Run, and Yoshi's Island. So I did. I did like one section of it, um, uh, before I went back to Oracle of Ages. I thought to myself, all right, well, I might as well finish the power free run since I'm near the final level, and I'm uh, just go to just go finish off your sand. Uh, when I took a break during Yoshi's Island, um, uh, I well, just to explain, I went from like World Two to World Four, and that was like two, three hours of progress. Um, when I went to take a break, the computer crashed. Um, uh, because of an internet issue with, well, well, it's not really an internet issue, but a power cut. And so, um, uh, what happened is that I ended up losing literally everything I did besides the Hammer Free Run. Uh, the Mario Bros. Free Hammer Run. So, like, I was so, like, torn because so much progress just completely lost through no error of my own. So I thought to myself, all right, well, I've got this completed file. I might as well just continue from there. The moment I clicked it, the computer crashed again, and I literally couldn't do the mega stream anymore. I was so livid. I was at the point of actually screaming at my computer and swearing at it. I was so glad that my parents weren't, weren't in. But yeah, so this won't really affect you guys because the Yoshi's Island stuff isn't on YouTube. I uh, deliberately got rid of it because I knew I wasn't gonna, I knew I wasn't gonna play it again for ages. So I thought, like, just play it again when I'm in the mood to, and just start over when I'm in the mood to. All right, stock up on some high potions, and then I'm uh, sorry, stock up on some, on some high potions, and then in, then start infiltrating X Death's castle. Where's the nearest wall? Oh, it doesn't show on the map. Oh, guess I better start searching. Oh, right, yes. I forgot to deposit the tablets in Kusa Castle. I think I remember that. Now, where is Kusa Castle? I... Oh, yeah, never mind. It's somewhere in the middle. Always lose track of where of where I go. 
again, this is kind of why I like the Steam version, because at least the map, at least the map tells you what each points are. Wow, I've overshot it again. Overshot it again! Jesus! There we go, finally! Now, be because I've got equipped swords for Ferris, that might actually come in handy. Um, any other swords that I can get from here, I think Ferris can use as well, although I don't think there is any. That's all the legendary weapons. I don't think I can use any of them, though, but oh well. I'm also not going to bother with that bit, because there's no point in getting the advanced jobs. I can't use them. That's also another reason why I'm not going back to the water tower to face off against Gogo, because I don't need the mine job. I can't use it. Alright. Where's a warp point? Go. All right. Are you serious? I found the one that doesn't work. She's talking about defective portal. What about this one? This one also doesn't work. This one also doesn't work. What the hell? She's now when I'm actually now when I'm actually trying to find the fucking things. time because that's what I do best. Wow, I found another one that doesn't work. And another one. Are you freaking serious? This isn't even close to being funny. There we go. Jeez. Why are all the other ones not working? What a piece of crap. Alright. I'm gonna leave for a second so I can go out and save, because I don't know when the next I don't know when the first save point is in that dungeon. Yeah, we're fully Oh no, we're not fully healed. Okay, so it was a good thing I I left then. Okay. Now we're at the last hour mark. And I didn't save. Now we're at the last hour mark, and really the only reason we would have gotten here like ten minutes earlier if I wasn't look if I wasn't forgetting stuff or getting lost. 
because again, the iOS map, sorry, the Steam version map and the iOS map, I suppose, is easier to navigate through. Not to mention the ship doesn't go stupid fast in that one. Just for the record, I'm not beating this game in this session because there's no chance. Not only will, it, will a dungeon take a long time, but I need to do some intense grinding to get um, to get more health, more attack power, and more money. For a thousand years, we've been sealed in the rift. Once X-15 is part of the void, a new world, a world of darkness, will be born. Don't know why I'm reading the text now, but no, better late than never. Alright, best start healing now. Ether. Because here's the thing. I am going to be leaving this dungeon once we finish the session just to go back and get some more stuff. So that's that's one of the reasons like why I'm not gonna that that's another reason why I'm not gonna be fighting the final boss. Looks nice. Also, I think I'm going to hold off on healing too much. So, what I'll do is, um, after a fight, if anyone's below a thousand, I'll use two high potions on them, and that's it. So, I need to be sparing with this. On the plus side, at least some of the enemies here are very susceptible to the insta-kill thanks to the Assassin's Dagger. So, I know the left... Oh no, it's the middle, that's the right one. Oh no, the leftmost is the right one. Oh well. I don't mind escaping with the chicken knife, because if anything, it, like, it saves, saves time. I just realized Ferris doesn't have a reflect ring on. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, I'm still enjoying this, but like... It's just that little tedium each time, that it, it's just... It's all the little tedious things that ends up starting to build up all the time. Blood sword. I think that drains health. Yeah. It's weaker. So, no. But... If I ever equip it with dual wields... Um, then I can have it. Or I can give it to Ferris. Oh, nice, an elixir. So, that, so those guys drop elixirs. I, I'm all, I am also going to need to do some looking up to see what enemies drop elixirs. 
And from the shark, I guess. This bit I always found to be a tad unsettling. It's, it's just the Phantom Village, but it also makes no sense because the Phantom Village was in was in the interdimensional rift. Because like when the world split, um, when the world split into two, this one didn't go to either one. It, it went into a section in between the worlds, and was stuck in a timeless loop. No one aged. No, nothing happened. Oh great, they heal from Excalibur. Aoife, Cell. Sell. Little frog. Sell. I just realized I initiated this fight. Oh wait, no, I'm good. I'm gonna. I'm good. Okay. Du dual wield. Um, uh, since Ferris has the most MP and can't cast any magic, I feel like she would burn for the most. Alright, save state. Just in case things go south fast, and I know they will. Was she trying to cast... Based on herself. Okay. Alright, well, for this guy hammer, I don't need anymore. Also, drain doesn't work on reflect rings, and I also realized that Ferris does not have a reflect ring. Wait, now I remember a blood sword. We had that exact same problem in the last stream. What's she doing? Swap that sword out for something else. Also, this is going south way too fast. I'm not even getting a chance to attack. Sword replaced with uh, Assassin's Dagger. <sighs> I 
completely forgot that that was the same blood sword that I had that I kept having that bitching issue with. What, what am I doing? Unless dual wield lesser wield four weapons, I think it's kind of useless on the ninja. At least I got a phoenix down for that. I'll use that right away. Okay. There we go. Uh, time for this annoying part. Trying to dodge Omega. <laughs> there is no way I'm going to be able to beat Omega. I literally have nothing I can do a thing to it. Shinryu, I might have a chance against, but that's not likely. Okay, guys. Huh, I managed to avoid Shinryu on my first... Omega on my first try. Right. I forgot to get rid of Berserk, so this is going to be a War of Attrition. Oh no, magic hammer, whatever will I do? Wow, you suck. Okay, I know these ninjas that in this area are dead in mind to hit because they have a tendency to dodge everything. See? They're annoying. Oh, come on! Okay, a save point's not far from here, that much I remember. Four hammer. Someone should be able to equip that. Oh. Runax is being retired. I do feel bad about getting rid of the legendary weapons just like that, but at the same time, this is my fourth time streaming the game, so whatever. Any sandals? Most likely gonna sell that. So again, enough. I'm not taking the reflect rings off. Alright, so this guy's gotten the safe.
Hey. Honestly, I'm not fussed about um, uh, going full berserk on this one because this guy uses nothing but magic. And again, reflect rain. I feel a bit bad for him uh, using those healing ices, but I want to be absolutely sure. Wait, does anyone need? No, we're good, but I am going to save. Plenty of cottages. I think I can do this. Well, I think I can get away with this. Alright, as long as it's doing circle again, I'm fine. There we go. Was not expecting that maelstrom, though. Again, how many times have I played this game? Oh, for goodness sake. so hard. Did two in circles and maelstrom. That was just asking for pain. <sighs> Rainbow dress. So... Don't do it in circle again, okay? What did I just say? bought as well. That's dead annoying. Oh, Ferris this time. He was trying to be original. And bought. Never mind. He wasn't original enough. No, 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 no. Were you even trying there? You had the damn dancing dagger and chicken knife. You did jack diddly shit. Alright, you know what? Fuck these two. Alright, well, keep, keep the chicken knife at least. But... At this point, I'm like so sick of the dance thing. So why does everyone keep just missing that? Scalibur.
Alright, next boss. It's at this point where I just don't care about these bosses anymore. I'm just like rushing through them with berserkers. To be fair, most of them are not that brain taxing. Probably shouldn't do that to a little girl, just let me know. Alright, time to find the next boss. This one really likes casting toads, so hopefully the reflect rings will um, uh, take care of this. Nope! If we somehow win this, I'll be shocked. That helps. Oh, hey, thanks. Okay, so we won that just because she was an idiot. Come on, Froggy, wake up. Yeah, we really only won that just because she decided to cast Holy on us. It bounced back. Then she decided to cast Ribbit again. Letting us change back. I like it when villains are stupid. Don't get me wrong. I like a challenging fight every now and then. But when it's a game you've played so many times like this, like... You just don't really care. Wait, Ramor? What's a remote in here? The fuck? I've I've literally never seen that before. What the hell? I've literally never seen that before. Time to use the first batch of elixirs. I kind of wish there was a mega elixir. Anyway, we're going to need the you know, core rings for this. That's why. I'm just gonna charge that beam soon. Or not. 
Hmm. All right. Set up a safe state. Really? You don't have any magic for these guys. Because they would count to a meteor and my rings can't reflect that. From a shuriken, always nice. Gilgamesh. Has there ever been a game where Gilgamesh was playable? Because I'd, I'd probably buy that game in a heartbeat. Oh wait, no, I'm a... a the 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 Dissidia games. I just call it Final Fantasy Fighters. You know, I know that complicated shit. What the fuck is even a Dissidia anyway? Anyway, see you, Gilgamesh. Trying to get to the next save point is going to be the worst part. I just realized I've still got my coral rings equipped, not my not my reflect rings. Nope. From a shuriken. Nice! I was expecting Atomic Raid to get reflected, but I'm not complaining. I just realized we came extremely close to death and I was just like not even trying to escape there. Alright, second batch for Lexus. Alright, set up a save state just so if it, just so if I die, I've got this bit. Ah, oh, thank you. Alright, I believe that treasure chest is Shinryu, which is why I'm going to ignore it. You know, it does feel good to bounce back their annoying magic. Another Fuma Shuriken.
Okay, this is probably one of the more aggravating fights. Uh, yeah, it should be fine for the most part, but if I beat this, I get a save point. Oh, come on! Whereas the assassin's dagger thing got reflected back. You know what? That was a bit of a scare. And that's the wrong one. Shit, shit. Fuck, I wrote over the wrong save. Now I'm literally going to have to do everything. That... I'm going to have to do a Tontonia fight. I'm going to have to do all this again. Fuck's sake. Actually, you know what? That's gonna do it for today. Here's the thing. That battle against Necrophobe, that's the last battle before x -Def. And even then, that's an optional fight. That's just to a save point. And we don't really need to see the Tontania fights and all the other fights in between again. So, I think what I'm going to do is, I think now I'm going to end it off here. Off screen, I'm going to do a crap ton of grunting because there's no way I'm going to be able to defeat x -Def in this rate. I need to be... Oh, crap. I probably need to be about 55. Maybe even higher because I'm relying on berserkers. They're powerful, but they're unreliable. I also need to get more, a lot more money for a... Um, uh, Elixirs. Maybe not for Mushurikas because I grabbed so many and, I've, and I have barely used any. But either way, that's something I'm going to have to sort of my own time. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you Monday. Hopefully this time we'll get some Puzzle and Dragons in. Skipping those so often because of stupid things outside of my control. But anyway, uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you then. Take care. <sighs>